sitting here waiting for the rain to start because the thunder's Good. I like a good thunderstorm. I don't. Well, Monday's is market day. Football memorabilia. Market in Skipton is both sides of the street. Well, it's a very pleasant town, Skipton. You can see why it's a tourist mecca. It's it's um, pretty. Black Horse Pub, traditional free house. Sounds of the city in the background. old church holy trinity Okay, I'll put a link in the description of the Holy Trinity Church at Skipton. Very attractive and unusual building. Entrance to Skipton Castle is right next door to the church. Well, I guess we might have to try a pork pie. That's the uh, old corn mill on the right hand side there. Maximum boat length up here is 30 foot, I believe. So they must have to reverse those up. Well, that's an interesting little snippet. Shepherd Pub, right by the spur of the canal. So moving on from Skipton, where we've been more for a couple of days, arrived when it was really nice, warm, sunny weather, and the weather's changed dramatically now. <laughs> Had some serious rain during the night, and um, it was quite a cold wind this morning. Wharf buildings. This is the wharf of the uh, Pennine Cruisers. They're really busy, you know, with um, boat trips. Amazing how many people have taken the boat trips around the uh, local area. Don't seem to be quite so many moving today, I guess, because the weather's not so uh, pleasant.
water. So that's the water done, filled up with water, got rid of the rubbish, onwards. stay there though, it's really nice. a lovely display of uh, bedding plants can't have many more weeks left now shame when summer has to end
these swing bridges turned out to be a real challenge. The landing platforms were on the opposite side to where the bridge has to be pushed. The bridges themselves are quite heavy to push open and uh, Sue can't manage them. I have to do it. So I've been trying to find a way of mooring on the same side as the push mechanism and that isn't always possible and they turned out to be a real challenge. Been behind is one of the pleasure cruisers from Skipton Wharf. This turned out to be really fortunate because uh, the next swim bridge, the crew from the uh, trip boat jumped off and operated the bridge, which made it a lot easier for us to get through. Thanks, Jim. That's as far as the trip boat goes, though. No more help on the next one, Bridge. Well, this is a very pretty spot, this swing bridge, and um, there's a Polish war memorial here. I'll, uh, I'll give a closer look at it when, once I'm through here. So this swing bridge we've just come through has got a magnificent vista up the hill. Even on a dull day, that's a really nice vista. As I say, it's a Polish war memorial. I'll go and take a close photograph because there's a story to tell with it. Just sweep round in this panoramic view because it is very nice. And this canal side house right next to the swing bridge. It's got turrets. Just like a small, small castle.
it's an interesting read if you're interested in that sort of thing pause the video and uh, have a read and just across the swing bridge sorry about the wind noise only doing this on a cheap old phone link in the description tells the story of how the uh, plane crashed back in the Second World War. Well, some of the trees are beginning to take on the look of autumn. The leaves are changing into uh, oranges and browns. And we are only on the 11th of September, so Autumn's just around the corner. Where the uh, noise of the traffic goes running parallel to the canal, and it must be, I don't know. 15 to 20 foot below the level of the canal. This one turned out to be really tricky. There was nowhere to moor on the push side of the bridge and to try and get it open with um, the barge pole and as much effort as Sue can manage to be put into it. And I only just managed to get the bridge open wide enough to just scrape the boat through and then I had to pull it closed behind me with a rope. So, so difficult. Why don't they put the uh, mooring platform on the same side as you have to embark to do the bridge. Nightmare. This is interesting, I've got to swing out because there's a low overhanging branch and there's another boat coming. <coughs> it's a day boat, day tripper. Hey, day tripper. Hello, I am. Nice canal side position these places have got. Passing through Kilwick now, the village has got some magnificent views though of the surrounding countryside. Yet another swing bridge coming up.
Kilwick is such an attractive village, it's worthy of a stop. There's a church right on the canal side and a pub just across the road from the church. So we moor up here for the rest of the day and spend the uh, afternoon exploring. This part of the Leeds and Liverpool Canal is truly magnificent scenery wise, but my word it's a challenge with all the swing bridges. Uh, the landing platforms are on the opposite side to the bridge and make it very challenging when there's only one person able to operate the bridge. It's been uh, interesting to say the least. Tomorrow the Bingley Five Rise locks to navigate. So that should be an interesting day as well. Anyway, in the meantime, thanks for watching.